Hey folks, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. So we will look at good old Wireshark. Haven't done one of these in a while. I've done this video in the past and for some reason it keeps coming up and I thought, you know what? I haven't done one with the latest view of the current GUI on Wireshark. So why not just freshen it up, throw in a couple of tips and tricks. This is a good old My Mac filter, right? It's gonna be a capture filter. You can also do a display filter, but I'll do a capture filter on your MAC address. And the reason why that's important is in this day and age of IPv4, IPv6, other protocols, you're probably going to want to always start capturing from the MAC address. And once you verify the client is using IPv4 or whatever, then you can tune up your filter that way. I don't want to guess at IPv4 and miss IPv6 stuff because people fall into that trap many times. First thing we're going to do with Windows is good old get MAC, G-E-T-M-A-C space slash v for verbose and what that'll do is show you all your mac addresses i'm going to use my wi-fi it's right here and there's the physical address so i'm just going to copy that and i'm going to come over here and test this out so i'm going to do ether space host and i'm going to just paste that mac address that you saw a moment ago so if you take a look at this the um, pink area salmon if you will is telling us something's wrong. Okay, this is the most common mistake I see people make. When you move your mouse over it, it actually says no interface selected. Aha! So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to cut. I'm going to go select Wi Fi. I'm going to try this again. Paste. There it is. Now it's green. So that's good. I'm going to simply double click on this. And there's all the stuff flying through my machine. So I'm going to stop that. So now we proved ether host syntax works with the MAC address. Everything's cool. Go to capture filters and you can just add one here. You can, there's a lot of ways of doing this, by the way, I'm just showing you the, the most direct way of doing it. I'm going to plus, I'm going to call this my space Mac. I'm going to come over here to the right hand side, filter expression, ether space, or just paste that last command you had. Enter. Okay. So now you are using that filter and you can see at the top here it says ether space host and the MAC address yada yada. If I go back to my capture options, you'll see that it's there from the previous command. So I'm going to hit start, continue without saving, off we go to the races and you can see all my traffic. Now obviously uh, this is me in and out and that kind of stuff. Sometimes I want to capture everything else except me. I don't want my data. Or if I had a remote probe and I wanted to exclude my traffic because I'm remotely controlling it using VNC, remote desktop, whatever I happen to be using. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to add at the beginning of this an exclamation mark or put the word not. Hit enter. Start. Continue without saving. And now this is everything else floating around except my traffic. Sometimes I want to see if there's some kind of loop, if there's other devices uh, that are flooding on the switch. This is a great way to find out uh, if you have a, a tap or a span port. Again, you don't want your traffic. This is another good way of doing that. And that's it. From there, you can just use your imagination, folks. I'm going to keep this short as possible. Enjoy. Have a good day. Bye for now.